Yeah. Our paperwork on that with the stupid <laughs> Shovel for cotton seed. Like I said, it exists. It's not where you guys would think it would exist. Let's see here. Three thirty on the nuts. Goals should be golden. leave yet. Knock knock. Just in time. Thank you. Yeah, Till next time. <laughs> Hopefully it's a while. Not that I don't like seeing you guys. Well, I don't need to be home till September, depending on the PM. Uh, it's set for 20 and 40, so be oil change at 40. So we're back on that now instead of the as soon as possible. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I made sure I made, got as much of that shit out of there as I could. It was still kind of sludgy yet. Hmm. Hopefully I never have to see them damn trucks again. No. Jesus Christ, right? Has you complained about the red one at all? I don't talk to him enough. Uh, I was just curious if you had mentioned anything. Saw him today for a few minutes, I didn't, he didn't say nothing. Hey, no news is good news in my book. I got his cam sitting right there. <laughs> Ain't sent it back yet? Come on now. No, I get to keep it. Really? Yep. Oh. That's my trophy. There's no core on it, so... I suppose they can't really use a busted cam anyway. Uh, sometimes they want to have it back to see why it failed. Uh, but I was but when the cam itself didn't fail, it was the valve or whatever yeah, that, lifter that grown the shit out of it. I'm waiting for one more to go bad, so that way I can have two. <laughs> what I'm going to have, I'm making a table. There we go. That's my... There I, we go. I diagnosed another cam, but I was like, it's under warranty. I'm like, I wanted it. I wanted it to actually collect shit. <laughs> Not good. It's, I don't know if it's good to have a collection of parts, though. For me, I enjoy working on trucks. So mm -hmm. I don't really care about the like politics behind it. I'm just like, oh, this is fun. Yeah, that's kind of how I am whenever I do mess on it. I just don't like messing too much on the leasers here because no. I don't want to get blamed and now I have to buy the truck because I fucked something up. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't right. want that. <laughs> Neither does Greg. That's why he's like, anything goes wrong, he's like, nope. I'm, I'm bringing it in or calling. and yep. Like, I know in that, uh, I think it's called an idler pulley went out. Mm -hmm. They're like, well, go get go get the part and have the dealership do it. Go to the dealer. Oh, we can't get you in for like 36 hours. Like, Francis is like, you got a wrench. Fucking do it. <laughs> what? <can't?" laughs> yeah, and it's just one bolt out, one bolt out. It, it was nothing. But it's like, I don't. I probably have enough tools. I can German tighten ugga duggas and shit to tear the motor apart and put it back together, but it ain't gonna be right. <laughs> Damn fancy torque wrenches. I had to buy one just for that. Yeah. I know the boss rebuilt my old truck's motor. Or not mine, but the other truck we had. Yeah. He had to rebuild it twice. Rebuild it once. Three weeks later, that driver blew it up again because he ran out of coolant. So he, uh, he broke five or six of them short electronic ones because he had to do like 200 foot pounds or something with it oh. and he couldn't get the big bar in because that fucker's six feet long yep. and he busted the fucking the, the little knuckle off <laughs> I'm like he at least they're Harbor Freight specials but uh, still that's a fucking wallet biter <laughs> oh. 